Hi, and welcome to the video. My name is Daniel. I'm with One Month No Carbs. So before you watch this video, I just want to remind you that below this video, there's a comment box. Please, after watching the video, leave any comments you have, the love, the hate, the comments, the critics, anything. It's an op open conversation. Now, I made this video uh, for people I love, for my friends, and for anyone else out there who wanted to lose weight but couldn't, who's sick and couldn't get out of whatever problem they're having, or um, they have children. If you have children, you, you'll want to, uh, to follow along with this video. Um, you'll see it's just insane. So quick story about me. Over the last year, uh, I've lost 50 pounds to a normal weight. I was uh, obese at 220 pounds. I'm now at 172 pounds. So almost 50 pounds gone in over a year. Uh, I reached 170 in a year, but I've stalled since then, but I, it's okay. I'm at my uh, uh, healthy, happy life right now. So, um, but I was doing research because I could not understand how I gained weight all the time. Um, I was following the labels, I was following the guidelines, and I was gaining weight. And I'll show you exactly what I mean and where these guidelines are, the ones I was following, and how way, way off we are. So I was doing research, I was looking at the maximum amount of sugar someone could have in a day. Before, I, I was just thinking in calories, now I started thinking in, in sugar. So I was looking for that, uh, that top limit, a bit like a speed limit. You know, you're on, you're on a highway, you could go, you know, you're, the, the limit is uh, 60, you go 60. If you go higher, you might get a ticket, you might get an accident. So they recommend you stay at 60. So what's this number for sugar? Now, I couldn't find the number for sugar anywhere. Uh, not on the official government websites, um, but I did a Google search and CBS News uh, published this article about the World Health Organization to lower sugar intake recommendation. So they used to recommend 10% of the daily calorie. Now it's, they say it's 5%. So in terms of how much sugar is that, it went from six teaspoons for someone of my size, an adult weighing 170 in the normal BMI. So somebody my height, five, uh, 5'10", 175 pounds, six teaspoons should be my maximum or 25 grams. Now to put that into what does that look like? This is 25 grams or six teaspoons of sugar. So it's, fits a little bit in a baggie. So that's my daily max to live my best life according to the World Health Organization. Now, if I go slightly higher, what is the, the problem? Well, sugar doesn't leave the body. When it gets in, it gets burned or it gets stored. It's that simple. So at first we have a lot of room in our body and sugar gets stored everywhere in the muscles, and in the liver and the organs it can store in a lot of places but then it gets full and it can't get rid of it so it puts it in the fat cells when the body needs sugar and there's none in the blood they'll go back to the muscles the liver wherever they store the fat take it out of there and if there's no more in there they will take the 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 sugar back from the fat so once it comes in, it needs to get burned. Otherwise, it stays in the body. And they say, the World Health Organization says, 25 grams of sugar should be your maximum intake for an adult. So for a child, it could be somewhere at four or maybe three teaspoons of sugar per day. So up to there, I'm okay. I, I, I follow along this for me. For me, for sugar, for an adult, half of that for my child. She's half my size. 
Okay, I buy it. Perfect. So that's our speed limit. Then I looked at the video that was below, and it's the new, uh, the new in 2014 uh, proposed nutritional labels. And when I looked at it, I saw something broken. My eye caught to it right away, and it it it, it broke me because here they um, they're happy to announce that the calorie number is going to be bigger. They're going to put more emphasis on the calories so people know how many calories. A cal Nobody's talking calories. What's the maximum amount of sugar? So here, the World Health Organization says, for me to live my best life, happy, uh, healthy, it's not to exceed 25 grams of sugar per day. Then I, I look at the label, and they have total carbs. At 37 grams. Now, some people will say there's good carbs and bad carbs. They're different. Uh, no, a carb is sugar. That's it. If you look at the fat, they they accumulate all the fat and post it as total fat at the top. And for carbs, they total the sugars and then they rename it carbs for a reason. There's no reason. It's carbs. Uh, if we go. Um, to a sugar label. A sugar label is eight grams of added sugar, eight grams of sugar, eight grams of carbs. That's it. And that's their label. That's the FDA label on sugar. There's no good carb, bad carbs. All carbs are sugar. It's the same thing on a Coca-Cola uh, can. It's 55 grams of carbs, 50 gra 55 grams of sugar. It doesn't change. It's always the same thing. Uh, this one, 39 grams of carbs, 39 grams of sugar. So a, a carb is sugar. There, there's no, there's no good or bad carbs. It's sugar. So I looked at 37 grams of carbs. Now I come back to the World Health Organization, and they say it's 25 grams for me. So I don't know what this serving of is, but to me, it's an overdose of sugar. Just this one for me, 37 grams is, is more than 25. But then I look on the left-hand side of it and it says 12%. So 37 grams of sugar is not my maximum according to the FDA. According to FDA, my maximum is 308 grams of sugar. So not 25 or 35, it's 200 and 308 grams of sugar. 12% is 308 or 70, 77 teaspoons of sugar. That's the maximum according or that that's my maximum so in terms of how much sugar is 308 grams or 77 teaspoons this is it how am i going to eat that in a day how is that safe for me to eat in a day i went to chronometer and i entered what i ate last year when i was a big guy I was 220 pounds and I ate the way my doctor recommended basically. So in the morning, two eggs, three slices of bacon and uh, two slices of toast, coffee black, a butter on my toast, a cob salad with dressing for lunch and a steak with mashed potatoes and peas for dinner. I don't have dessert. I don't have yogurt, I don't have juice, I don't have a snack. This is what I ate, and I was big, getting bigger. But if we talk to my doctor, he said, look at you, you're under your burn calories, because you're a big guy, you burned 2,200 calories, and you only ate 67, uh, 1967. You should be losing weight. Uh, no, I'm gaining weight. Then I look at all the things, vitamins, I'm pretty good. 
you know, if it's green, it's good. If it's red, well, you're over. Okay. Yellow, you're under. So I'm okay with the vitamins and I'm okay with the proteins all a little over. Then I look at that. Oh my God, fat. I ate too much fat. That must, must be it. Because if we look at my sugars, I'm 17.3, right? Nothing wrong there. But then if I look at net carbs, I'm 344 over. But according to the FDA, I'm only 30%, 34% there. So which one's right? So I was following this one, ignoring the bottom one. So I said, okay, I'm under my carb count according to the nutrition labels, according to this way of eating. So never mind eating ice cream or having a soda or a yogurt or a, a, a banana in there, right? I'm over. So it's, it's a lie. They want you to eat this much sugar to stay addicted to it, to get addicted to it, to get your kids addicted to it, and they don't know it. I was, I was uh, in shape, healthy when I was a young man, and every year, eating this way, I put a pound or two. Everyone I know today is overweight or at least bigger than they were in high school. And people say it's normal. Why is it normal? At, at this moment, I'm back to the weight I was in high school. I took it all off just by not eating sugar. No carbs. There are no good carbs. There are some good food that have little carbs in them, a, a small amount of sugar, but it's a good food with carbs with sugar it's not a good carb so when people say well there's good carbs in fruit no the fruit might be good but it has carbs it has sugar in it you have to count that so at the 25 grams of sugar a day that includes some fruit but it can include apple juice it can include soda it can include bread and all those carb things because it's sugar so if you're a parent and you're overdosing your kids on sugar, you know it, you're doing it. If you close your eyes and, and just read the, the government labels, then okay, you're safe. You can pretend you're safe, but I've shown you the map. So you can't lie to yourself, you can't lie to your kids. And if you ever try to lose weight and couldn't, just go low carb. There's plenty of low carb breads, low carb treats, ice cream, it's all coming out in the market now. So it might be scary for you right now to think I'm going to lose so many things, but you're not. You're going to gain your health, you're going to lose the weight, and you'll be able to find plenty of food you love. Trust me, I'm happy. I'm not looking for sugar. And if I want a treat, there's so many treats I can have, like ice cream and brownies and cake and pie and bread. It's all low carb. So don't be afraid of the fat. Cut the sugar. Live your best life. Now that you've watched the video, you basically have three choices. One, you can ignore it. Pretend you never saw it. Just go back to the way uh, you're eating and enjoy the sugar. Sorry to see you go. Two, you like the information. You're going to use the information on your own. Just stay low carb. Go under 25 a day for you and maybe for your kids. They, they have room. They can enjoy it. And it's a lifetime they'll get um, accustomed to. And they can pass that on to their kids and their kids. They don't have to be caught in the prison of, of being overweight and sick. And three, if you need help. I can help. I have a program called One Month No Carbs, and it's a four-week program that takes you from where we are now to a place where you can live without carbs. I will give you the trick, the tips, how to, uh, how to shop, how to think, how to understand exactly what the carbs are doing to your body. Also busting some other myths about cholesterol that 
like uh, type 2 diabetes can be reversed. Some doctors have done that. So if you want to join us, uh, click the button below. It's one month, no carbs. Um, very affordable. It's a unlimited access, meaning that if you stumble and you need to retake the, the, the one month, no car program, you can take it as many times as you need to. So if it's next month or a year from now when you want to retake it, it's unlimited access. So you can take it over and over again. Hopefully one works for you, but some people need it a few times. And the important thing is to know and then to adjust our lives for this. So thank you for watching. I love to uh, see and read your comments below. So make sure you do that. I'll see you next time. Bye.